Good evening and welcome back to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Seminar. Pearl River Community College has hired Christy Meeks as the program's third softball head coach in the program's history. Meeks, who spent the last five years at Mississippi Gulf Coast, touched on her philosophy heading into her first head coaching gig with the Wildcats. Uh, you steal ideas from other people and you make them your own um, by how you present them to your girls. And so I think that's kind of important. If you can learn from other people and accept that in and not have this mindset of my way, the highway type of deal, um, if you can just learn from everyone around you, then you're going to keep succeeding. The Mississippi State women's hoops team departed to Italy last night where they'll rep the red, white and blue in the World University Games. The Bulldogs, who will arrive tomorrow morning, are one of 16 teams who will compete beginning next week. And they've had their hands full getting game ready over the last few weeks. We're really green right now. Um, you know, we're nowhere close to where we're going to be. Obviously, um, trying to put uh, five new players in the mix uh, in, in a short period of time is, is really challenging. I think it's a great opportunity. Um, a lot of people don't get to do it. Uh, it'll be my first time playing for USA, so I'm excited and it means a lot to coach. As USA is something that's bigger than just us. We're getting, re we're getting ready to represent our country. And so with that, it comes with a lot of pride, and um, I got my nails blue because I'm so excited, so <laughs> I'm ready. Marco Arup, who holds both the Mississippi State and Canadian national record in the indoor 800-meter dash, will represent his country at the 2019 Pan American Games. Arup will travel to Lima, Peru in August as part of the Canadian delegation. Arup will run in the semifinals of the 800 on Friday, August the 9th at 3.50 in the afternoon. The final will then be ran the following day. Braves looking to take three of four for the Chicago Cubs this afternoon at Wrigley. Third inning, Braves lead it by one. Freddie Freeman at the dish, and he's going to drive this one out to left field, and it's going to leave the yard into the first row of seats. It goes for his 22nd big fly of the year, and it was 4-1 to one Braves. Very next inning, Atlanta. Adding on, Dansby Swanson rockets one into center, scoring a pair, and it was 6-1 Braves. But here come the Cubs, finding some of that never-die attitude they showed for much of last year. It's all tied for Victor Carantini, who goes yard to Chicago, erases a five-run deficit. They go on to win 9-7. The Vanderbilt Commodores are kings of college baseball yet again. Vandy beating Michigan 8-2 in Game 3 of the Finals last night to take the series two games to one. The Commodores have now won two national titles in baseball, with the first coming in 2014. Freshman Phenom Kumar Rocker was awarded the Most Outstanding Player Award. Rocker lights out the whole postseason, helping to further a tradition of dominance under head coach Tim Corbin, who has built Vanderbilt baseball into a powerhouse. Congratulations, Coach Corbin. Where are the emotions right now? Uh, they're good. I mean, I'm just happy for everyone. I mean, the staff, the players, the players made it happen. Uh, they're a very deserving group. They've done so many consistent things during the course of, of the year. It's hard to really put into words, but uh, they're very deserving. They, they've backed up their actions in, in every game throughout the year. It's, uh, it's been incredible to watch. Smile, coach, you just won the natty. The NFL has another game scheduled in Mexico this season, but the future relationship could now be in question. According to a report from a Spanish website called AS.com, future NFL games and Formula One racing could be cut as the government looks to cut spending on various sporting events. This year's Week 11 matchup between the Chargers and Chiefs in Mexico City will not be affected. The NFL has reiterated its intent to host games through 2021, which would likely require some degree of corporate sponsorship to pick up the slack.